Hello and welcome to Code Basics Coding Tutorial. In today's session, we are going to learn one more important debugging tip called conditional breakpoint. Now, if you don't know already what is debugging and what is breakpoint, I would suggest you go and watch my previous video on these two topics. But just to kind of go over these two topics very quickly, debugging is basically a process of finding an error or a problem in your code. And breakpoint allows you to stop execution of your code at certain point when you are debugging your code, okay? Now, what conditional breakpoint does is, it is basically a breakpoint, but it will stop the execution of your code when certain condition is met. Now, just to demonstrate the need of this, let's look at this sample code. What this code is doing is, it is going over all the expenses in this list and it is just calculating the total of these, right? So if you look at this array, this is like Python array, which has all these numbers, which are my individual expenses. And I want to just do a sum of all these expenses, okay? So you see this for loop, which is going through this list and it's just adding all these numbers one by one to total expense variable. And I'm just printing it towards the end, okay? Sweet, let's run this program. All right, when I do it, I see this error. It is saying that I cannot add integer with string object. What this error means is one of the elements in this array is string. Now, you notice that this array is pretty huge, okay? This will be the case often when you are doing programming in real life. You will have arrays which will have thousands of element in it, okay? So it is not actually feasible that you go and look at these elements one by one, right? As a programmer, you don't want to waste your time doing this, okay? So we'll use a conditional breakpoint to identify the culprit. Now. Before we do that, let's use our normal breakpoint and see what happens. When I click here, uh, you'll see this red circle, which means I set a breakpoint here. And now I will start my debugging using this bug icon. Okay, when I do that, my expense for the first iteration is 1230. So it started executing this for loop. It went to the first element and now we stopped here. Okay, when I say next, now next element is 2240, which is here, okay? Again, go next, next is 1500, which is here, okay? You can do debugging this way, but the problem is that you don't want to go over all the elements in the array. If array has 10,000 elements, you don't want to wait uh, for those 10,000 iteration to find out the element with a problem. Okay, so what I will do is I will change this breakpoint to be a conditional breakpoint. For doing that, in pycharm Python editor, you just right click and here you type in your condition. Now just think about for a moment what will be your condition. The problem in our code is that one of the elements in this expense list array is string. So I want to say if type of expense is equal to string then stop here okay all right let me stop my previous session and now let me rerun it great so now you see it didn't stop when it was here 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 it stopped when this condition was met which is my expense type was string and at that time, the value of expense is 2467. And you see these two codes, which means the type of that uh, object is string. So this is wonderful because now we found the problem. One of the elements here is 2467 and, and that one is string. So I will do control F and I will try to find 2467. Aha, 
Nice, so see, I found the culprit. You can see that this is a string and these are integer. So this is the problem. So what I'll do is, I will just remove the quotes. I will stop the execution and I will just rerun my program and see if there is any other element like that. Hmm, there is none. So now it worked. Excellent, great. See, it was pretty quick. If you had to do it using a normal breakpoint, you will just keep on iterating. It will waste so much of your time. Okay. Now, these conditional breakpoints are supported in all major code editors, also known as integrated development environments. It can be Microsoft Visual Studio or Eclipse or any other code editor. All of them support conditional breakpoint. So whenever you are debugging your Java code, C++ code, make sure you figure out the option to set conditional breakpoint and you use them wisely to save your time on debugging. That was all about conditional breakpoints. Thank you very much for watching.